Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome back to Farz Lossi and I'm here with another new tutorial and in this tutorial I'll show you how to edit a outdoor portrait. So, let's get started. Okay, this is the picture I'm gonna edit today. It's a very beautiful picture. Uh, at first I want to separate the subject and the background and then I want to apply some blur uh, on the background. I want to increase the blur of the background a little bit. Um, and then uh, maybe I want to create little autumn kind of effect. So, let's see. Okay, to separate the background or to select the subject, just copy the layer by pressing Command and J or Ctrl and J. That's fine. Now sele uh, select any selection tool and you will find a select subject option. I think this is a great option in the newer version of Photoshop. Uh, so just click on this and the Photoshop will do the rest. Most of the time this is accurate. Okay. <sighs> Okay, I think this time, uh, this time, this time, this time is also perfect. Just accept some area, but that's not a problem. We can fix this. Uh, so here I am selecting a uh, quick selection tool, but look at this. These areas are over selected. So I want uh, to, uh, I want to, so I need a native selection, right? So for this, uh, press and hold option or alt key and, uh, okay. Uh, okay, now now look at this uh, in the circle. Okay, I am increasing it in the circle. There is a plus icon uh, If you press and hold option or alt key the plus uh, is converted into a negative So that means you can now uh, Apply the negative selection. So press and hold option key and just select like this That's good I think that's okay so there is okay in this area a little bit so you can use another selection tool just like okay no problem uh, polygonal lasso tool just press and hold option key and just select like this I think that is a better option in this case Where is the other part? Ah, yeah, it's gone. So here also. That's perfect. So look at this. This now I want to the. Uh, what should I say? Negative selection and now a positive selection. <laughs> I want to reselect this part or I want to include this part into the selection area so for this press and hold shift look at this uh, the arrow is now uh, it's not arrow the symbol is now turned into a plus icon so now you can select this area done for this area too that's perfect so i think i'm happy with the selection Yes, it looks perfect for more options just you can click on the select and mask option okay this is eight and and i'm happy with the selection actually so i don't want to change any setting from here just uh come into the output to option and uh, just i want to go with the new layer with layer mask so press okay so this is your subject layer so you can rename it to subject that's fine and your layer one you can rename it to background or B Z short form. That's fine. Okay, but in the background layer, I don't want the subject at all. Okay, so I want to remove the subject from the background layer. Uh, okay, you need a selection first. So press and hold command option and click on the subject layer. Oops, oops, oops. Click on the mask of the subject layer. That's it. Uh, and now just go to the select option then modify and then expand and I'm to expand it to around 25 pixels uh, I think this is fine now right click on the mouse and select here content our fill okay that's it now press okay okay right now you can't see and it changes here press command and D to deselect the option just hide the subject layer and look at this it's your background layer it's 
looking good okay now active the subject layer and uh, look at these aces they are not looking good right so uh, select the background layer and from here just uh, select the clone stamp tool okay hardness zero percent just click on okay uh, press and hold option key to pick the sample like this press and hold option key pick sample and just paint that's easy I think that's fine I think now it's fine okay uh, come back to the background layer again and convert it to smart object okay uh, then go to the filter blur gallery and select a tilt shift okay now uh, okay now uh, just increase the blur value around uh, let's see 188 pixels bring it down I think this is fine right I'm going to add a little bokeh here so increase the light bokeh around 50% uh, maybe okay now come into the line trends option and find your sweet spot okay uh, you can see there is a dark area and there is a white area or light area so the dark area will affect the darker area and this light area or white area will affect only the highlights or white part of your uh, photo so I think this is fine isn't it it's looking fine yeah I think this is fine look at this it's look good again okay, no hope it's okay and again as it is a smart object you can double click on this layer and you can go back and change any setting anytime that's it so look at this before and after this was the before and this is after it's looking right that's fine now uh, I want to go into the channel major option okay now I'll select red here and I'm gonna decrease red to zero I think yeah and green to two hundred and blue to minus one hundred let's go with minus one hundred that's fine okay okay nothing to change in blue and green color and change the blending mode to uh, light in here okay now now go to the select color option here it is and now select our neutrals and let's change the sign look look at the changes i want to create little bit of reddish color so i'm going with minus 12 with cyan and then for white look at this just little plus seven i think that's fine for white it's okay look at this this was the before and this is after okay uh, now create a hue and saturation layer uh, and look at the changes this is not what I want okay so I'm going with around uh, minus 7 that's fine increase the saturation a little bit plus 5 that's fine look at this this was the before and this is after okay let's switch the opposite a little bit I think this is fine look at this this was the before and this is after it looks really good okay now uh, now create a black and white adjustment layer like this and change the blending mode to soft light that's fine and decrease the opacity uh, to around 10% I think look at this just a little change just look at this 
it's good to add uh, it's easy to add a little bit contrast that's fine now now go to the vibrance layer and increase the vibrance uh, just a little around 18 or 20 that's fine that's it okay uh, now I want to add a little thickness effect so for this I am going with another adjustment uh, to also select the gradient here and okay I want to change the color uh, change the white color to black that's it select a radial reverse that's fine okay increase the scale around 140 to 50 that's fine look at this this was the before and this is after just change the planning mode to soft light and let's see this is the before and this is after i think i should decrease the opacity a little now look at this this was the before and this is after i think it's looking right so i think the overall editing is done but uh, something is missing yes you were right something is missing uh, I had to apply a overlay of leaves, but I didn't. Uh, no problem. So I want to apply the leaves, the overlay right now. So go to the file, uh, place in the red option, and you will find this link, uh, the leaves link, uh, in the uh, this description. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh, so this is it. But now, look at this. The color is not matching. You are right. The color is not matching because I forgot to apply it before all the adjustment layer. But there is an option. Right. Just drag it down. Just under the channel mixer option. And look at this. It's very easy. So that's it. So this is the benefit of non-destructive editing. You can easily change anything anytime. Okay, that's it. Now I want to add a light in this area. So again go to the place in the red option. Okay, that's my light source. Okay, since the blending mode to screen to hide the black area, you know this maybe. Okay, look at this. I think it's looking good. It's looking fine. That's it. Okay, this was the before and this is after, but this is little bit yellowish no problem press command and u to bring the hue and saturation layer and just decrease it to minus 10 minus 7 8 maybe i think 8 is good okay that's it but there is one thing yes there is one thing I, I don't want to apply uh, the full light effect on the leaves this leaves not this one so what should I do go to the leaves overlay option or leaves overlay layer press and hold uh, command key and click on the leaves overlay that's it and now just press and hold option or alter key and click on the mask look at this the light effect is gone from the leaves look at this okay i said i want a little effect on the leaves so click on the mask press a white soft brush decrease the opacity around uh, 50 percent maybe and now just paint on the lips like this look at this now look at the changes it's good fine press X to select your foreground color black 
and decrease the opacity more and paint on your subject that will help you to remove the light effect from the subject I just want to remove it a little bit that's fine I think this is perfect okay I think I think I think it's done so look at this before and after this was the before and this is after it looks really good and colorful I hope you love this tutorial if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe <music>